Emergency 112 Project. Recent studies conclude that early and pre-hospital patient management contributes to emergency case survival. In such cases, the way of transporting and generally the way of providing care is crucial for the future of the patient. Unfortunately, ambulance personnel, who are usually the first to handle such situations, do not have the required advanced theoretical knowledge and experience for that. Since, for practical and financial reasons, ambulances cannot be manned by specialized physicians, ambulance personnel can only rely on directions provided to them by experts. There is therefore developing a mobile device that will allow specialized physicians located at a hospital site to coordinate remote located ambulance services and paramedical staff via telediagnosis and interactive teleconsultation means. Statistics in Greece and other EEC countries 9 percent of accident victims in rural roads die on the scene and 11 percent die during transportation. At least of emergency cases would have a 50 percent chance of survival if adequate pre-hospital care existed the necessity arises for early pre-hospital patient care. The objective of the Emergency 112 project is to reduce treatment times, improve medical diagnosis, and reduce an integrated portable medical device for emergency. The transmission of critical biosignals, ECG, BP, HR, SPO2, temperature, and is to an emergency call center, enables physicians pre-hospital care more effective, improving the patient's outcome and reducing mortality. The device communication links, both fixed and wireless, which maximize the potential use in different emergency situations. Networking links to medical information databases, hospital information systems and inter-hospital links will be provided to maximize information available to consulting physicians. Sir, what seems to be the problem? I was driving and I told you about this chest pain. How long ago? 15 minutes ago. Does the pain come and go? No, it's constant. Have you ever felt this before? No, this is the first time. You might take your blood pressure nice and quickly, all right? Looking up your EKG. Okay, that's good. That's good. Yes. Athens Medical Center EMS. 21, how do you copy our transmission? Ambulance 21, your transmission is good. Go ahead. Medical control, we're on the scene with a 40-year-old... ...approximately 85-kilo male patient complaining of a crushing chest pain. Radiating to his left start approximately 15 minutes ago while he was walking with no change of intensity since. Patients say no previous episodes of this type. No past medical history, no medication, no known allergies. Ambulance 21, first administer 100% oxygen via no rebreather mask, followed by nitro spray subligual, and send me telemetry. Troll rhythm was sending you telemetry. We see what appears to be a sinus rhythm with elevated, in a sinus tachycardia with elevated ST segment at 130. Ambulance to NDU1, have the patient chew an aspirin and begin transport immediately. Patient is unresponsive. John, do you have a pulse? I have no pulse. Put him down, put him down. He's not breathing. Control, our patient is unresponsive. We have no pulse and no respirations. What appears to be a ventricle fib on the monitor. Defibrillator, 200 joules. Charging at 200.
four, clear. No change control. Ambulance to end you. Stand by charging 300. Clear. No change control. Ambulance to end you one. Defibrillate at 360 joules. Charging 360. Clear. No change control. Ambulance to end you one. Stop CPR. 90 ml IV bolus. Epinephrine, 3 ml IV bolus, and intubate the patient. Yeah, we got a pulse. Do you have a pulse? Yes, we do have a pulse control. Which is your nearest hospital? And your ETA? Uh, you're our nearest hospital at approximately half hour with traffic. The introduction of this device in the field of pre-hospital emergency care is a, big, is a big advancement and will revolutionize the ambulance industry. In the past, ambulance personnel were limited in providing specialized treatment to their patients. Invasive procedures can now be utilized in the emergency care and treatment of all patients according to individual or nationally accepted standards. Also, the hospital staff can now be informed of the patient's condition prior to his arrival, which should reduce wasted time triaging the patient. I believe the use of this device... In the next years, the technology will advance very rapidly. The data transmission speeds in mobile networks will considerably increase, allowing the effective transmission of almost any kind of medical data and images. We hope this project will be a good start for a brighter future of telemedicine.